Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today we're gonna to do a quick unboxing and then I'll do a speed test of this crucial P2 one terabyte NVMe M.2 drive. Again, we'll unbox it, then I'll do a speed test. If you are interested in this NVMe drive, I will have a link below in the description so you can pick it up for yourself or find more information. Let's go ahead and dive right into unboxing this crucial NVMe drive. So again, this is the Crucial P2 one terabyte NVMe drive. It says Crucial, the memory and storage experts. It says a thousand gigabytes NVMe M.2 solid state drive. On the back, it says they have data transfer solutions as well as an installation guide, optimization and firmware. And it also says there's a limited five year warranty. Let's go ahead and open this up. So it looks like there's a little instruction manual or a getting started manual here. Um, get started, need help, and it's in several different languages. So I'll let you look through that on your own if you do grab one of these. And there's the NVMe drive itself. So there it is, the Crucial by Micron P2 M.2 NVMe drive. It's a thousand gigabytes. It looks like it's assembled in Mexico. And on the back side, it's just a black color. I'm gonna go ahead and install this and we'll go right into doing the speed test. So one quick thing I do wanna mention is this is an 80 millimeter NVMe M.2 drive. So if you're looking for the spot to put your standoff on your motherboard, it's the 80 millimeter slot. Let's jump over to Windows 11 here. I've got that drive all installed in Windows 11. If I open up my file explorer and right click on the crucial NVMe drive here and look at the properties, you can see I've set it up as the letter X drive and it gave me 931 gigabytes or one terabyte of space here. Now let's go ahead and run that crystal disk mark test so you can see the speeds that I'm getting on this drive. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the correct drive here. So if I go to the drop down, go to the letter X, I can go ahead and start that. And just for your reference, the computer I'm running today is a Ryzen 7 5800X with 32 gigabytes of RAM. I'm gonna come back to you once this test is complete and show you the results. All right, so the test is complete here and I'm not gonna go through all these numbers. You can pause it here if you wanna take a closer look, but I'll go through the main read and write speeds for you here. So the main read speed was 2,451.79 megabytes per second, which is really nice and fast. I'm really excited to use this drive. And the write speed came in at 1,930.37 megabytes per second. And I'm really happy with that. This is gonna be a great drive for games and storage on my Windows 11 PC. So I hope this video gave you value. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are interested in learning about how I installed and activated this drive in Windows 11 as a second drive, I will have that video linked up here in the corner so you can check that out. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. I'd love to have you join the Northern Viking community. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.